matter of minutes, actually seconds at this point in time. And again, Genesee Tower is coming down, 10 o'clock on the nose, the implosion. We're going to be showing this to you live. And so much history right now, a lot of controversy surrounding the implosion of this building. But you know what? we waiting to see what happens. Mark? Candace, it is getting uh, very exciting out here. Let's take a little bit of a walk down here because you can see all the people hanging out here. We've been talking about, we've been running into people from all over the country that have made their way in. And you, you came away from Toledo, right? No, I'm from Flint. You're from, my buddy, my I'm buddy's from, from uh, Detroit. I'm from Toledo. Detroit area. Hey, and, uh, what made you want to come out to be a part of this here? Oh, I get to go to a lot of the uh, implosions that have been to Pittsburgh and Detroit, the uh, Hudson's Building, and they're just they're just fantastic. All right, uh, you look there right now. I mean, that building's going to be gone in a minute. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, it's, uh, it'll, it, it's pretty interesting to see, and it's, a, it's like a Almost a science the way it comes down and and uh, one here one minute gone the next. All right, well, it's going to get very loud here in just a matter of minutes, actually seconds at this point in time. And again, Genesee Tower is coming down, 10 o'clock on the nose, the implosion. We're going to be showing this to you live. And so much history right now, a lot of controversy surrounding the implosion of this building. But you know what? incredible on how they can drop a building like that you know and so much history just you know wiped out in just a matter of seconds you know I mean years and years down here and now it's gone now it's time for new history to begin smoke right now is just coming down our way here what do you think of all this Flint is changing isn't it I bet the folks in the Mott Foundation building are tickled to death they can look east now can you feel that oh yeah there's a vibration it's terrific it was awesome. I got a point this out here too. We've got a lot of people over here, and uh, hey there. you're looking over there right now. I mean, it's gone. It's I'm, empty. I'm happy. My my office is in the Mount Foundation Building. I'm happy. It's it, everything went well. It's pretty uh, pretty emotional. Did you? What was your? What was going through your mind as that came crumbling down? Uh, it looked like it was. Uh, it just looked like everything went as planned, and it was pretty impressive. Obviously, wow. a lot of emotions around here. And again, I mean, I, I want to point this over here. I mean, that building is gone. The skyline has changed completely. And uh, can we talked to you for a second here. I mean, we're, we're live on ABC. 12 right now and uh, your reaction to what you just saw. We were just saying it's a lot faster than we thought it would come down. It's just wow and actually kind of quieter but amazing so fast. Well, we got to point out that the smoke, the dust cloud, it has not gone yeah. this way. I mean, it, No, it hasn't. Clear. We brought brasks and it's, it's, it hasn't come over here. So I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> Uh, history definitely in the making, and I, I want to even just point out here, a lot of people are walking around trying to take a part of this, and it looks, wow, and now the crowd is actually starting to move across the street because people are trying to get an even closer look, and let's head over to Randy Conant, who is live on the other side of what used to be Genesee Towers. Randy, what's it looking like from over there on your side of the uh, festivities, I guess we could say? Mark, it was just, in, it was just incredible, the amount of force that you could feel from the uh, the explosions, just rapid fire explosions. Uh, the ground shook, and you could feel the in my uh, I could feel it in my uh, chest, and uh, it went down incredibly quick. Uh, it fell a little bit onto Harrison Street. We can give you a shot of that uh, there. A little bit of it uh, fell onto Harrison Street, but uh, I. My guess is that uh, no other buildings were significantly damaged by the fall. The, uh, as you can see, the uh, cloud of dust has uh, blown off for the most part. It's traveling towards the west. It's uh, traveling towards Saginaw Street. So uh, from, from this vantage point, it looks like it uh, was a very successful implosion. Mark, back to you.